What's going on, Headliner Nation? Kyle back with the Fantasy Headliners. Breaking news in the football world tonight. The Leonard Fournette saga is officially over. He's going to be headed to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, per Adam Schefter, Ian Rappaport, and some other accounts also tweeting out the news that their sources are telling them that he will be signing with Tampa Bay. Now, the deal is not done and official at this point, but it does sound like he is going to be headed to Tampa Bay, and more than likely, it's going to be a one-year deal for a pretty low amount. Tampa Bay did not have a whole lot of cap space left but they had just enough to bring in another running back. And this is going to be a unique situation. They already have a lot of running backs on the roster. They're adding Leonard Fournette. They have Ronald Jones, Keyshawn Vaughn. They signed LaShawn McCoy a few weeks ago. Dare Olawala Bing Bang, as we call him here, is also on the roster. So adding Leonard Fournette, a little bit of a surprise this late in the game, but they felt like he could make their roster better, and he is going to be doing that. So before we talk too much more about what the fantasy implications are, let's just remind you what his season was like in 2000. And 19. In 2019, he had 265 attempts and ran for over a thousand yards. A pretty good season for him. The biggest thing that really took him over the top, though, for fantasy football owners was his 76 receptions and 522 receiving yards. With all of that combined, he was able to still finish as a running back one despite only having three touchdowns last year, all three of those on the ground. Now, I'm going to assume that those touchdown numbers are probably going to get bumped a little bit, but we could see a little bit of a decline in the other areas. Right now, what I'm kind of thinking plays out for Leonard Fournette is he's, he's going to have probably an early down role. He might be that guy that is out there on first and second down, a guy that will be on the field for short yardage situations, things of that nature. I don't expect him to be the lead back or the bell cow anytime soon. He's coming into a new environment with running backs that, one, has been there for three years, another one that's been there for a couple of years. LaShawn McCoy's been there all camp, Keyshawn Vaughn's been there all camp, and he's got a little bit of draft capital behind him. So I don't assume he's just going to walk in and become the lead back right away. He's going to need to get entrenched in the offense. He's going to have to learn the playbook. He's going to have to work with Tom Brady a little bit. We've talked about this all offseason with Tom Brady, right? A lot of people were not on Ronald Jones because they're saying Tom Brady wants guys on the field he can trust. He's not going to be able to trust Ronald Jones. Well, he's going to want to play with Fournette. He's going to want to get him on the field and work together with him for the next week while they get ready for week one. So I don't think come week one, he's just automatically automatically going to be the lead back. So just pump the brakes a little bit if you're still saying, oh, I'm going to spend like a second or third round pick or on Leonard Fournette. For me right now, I'm thinking more along the lines of getting him in the fourth or the fifth. Now, is he going to fall that far? Probably not, because I think there's going to be some people that are going to be a little too hyped up about this signing. But I don't think Leonard Fournette is going to see some of those same numbers that he saw last year. And we'll go back here again real quick so you can see what numbers I'm talking about. The rush yards, I don't know if he gets to 1,000. Again, because I think to begin the year, he's not going to have that type of a workload to get there. Now, as the season goes on, if he performs well and Ronald Jones or any of the other guys do not do well, then yes, I could see him start to take more and more and more carries as the season progresses. I think Dare Olawala Bing Bang is going to be in the passing game. I think that Ronald Jones is going to end up being in the passing game. Both of these guys are going to be worked in the passing game, so I don't think Fournette is going to see all of those receptions that he got last year. Now, his path to running back one status again, will more than likely lie within the touchdowns. He will have to be a guy that will have to be the goal line back, the red zone back, the guy that's going to be able to pound it in from five yards out, potentially 10 yards out at the goal line itself. If he can get upwards of maybe eight to 10 rushing touchdowns, can still get potentially 200 to 230 rushing attempts, and can get right around 850 to 950 yards, I think that is good enough to get him up towards that range. 
I just don't know if I'm going to expect it. This will still probably be a team that will pass the ball quite a bit. They have a lot of weapons that he would have to contend with in the passing game, and that's just outside of running back. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. Obviously, they've got Rob Gronkowski now this year. O.J. Howard is still on the roster. All these guys are going to see some pretty significant target share this year. Last year, Leonard Fournette kind of developed into that main type of target because they didn't really have any pass catchers last year in Jacksonville that were true number one guys or guys that were playing good on a consistent basis. Remember last year with DJ Chark, 43% of his fantasy points were scored in three weeks last year. That's how boomer bust he was. That is why Leonard Fournette saw a lot of passing attempts last year, excuse me, a lot of receptions, a lot of targets last year, because there was really nobody that was trusted on the roster. He was the guy that was making the catches, doing something with the football. They continued to lean on him, and that's why he put up those numbers. It's hard for me to envision he gets that type of success right away, and it's something that he's going to have to build up to. But again, to play devil's advocate, what if Ronald Jones is the starter still come week one, and performs well. What if he doesn't put the football on the ground? What if he does pick up blocks? What if he does catch the ball out of the backfield? If he does play well, this could still be a split backfield all year long, and that might not be a bad thing. Both of these guys could be on your roster, and both of them could be flex-eligible players any single week because they're going to be splitting the workload, and there's going to be enough room in the passing game that they're not going to really see any stacked boxes. I mean, you can't stack the box against Tom Brady and then let Chris Godwin's Mike Evans, Rob Gronkowski, and O.J. Howard just roam the field in one-on-one coverage all day. You're going to have to move some guys back. You're not going to be able to stack the box, which will help with the offensive line. Yeah, the offensive line isn't going to be great this year. It's going to be a little bit more improved. But if the offensive line is still, you know, mid, you know, mid NFL, let's say it's maybe in that 15 to 18 range, maybe even a little bit lower than that, maybe around the 20s. If it's in that area and it just still isn't that good of an offensive line, then the being able to keep guys out of the box is, is going to help these guys because they're not going to have to, number one, run through an offensive line that isn't putting up a lot of blocks. Because those guys are missing blocks, and maybe these guys are good enough and talented enough to get around that first guy. But then if you got the box stacked, all of a sudden linebackers are on you. Probably won't happen this year because of the weapons there. So Leonard Fournette and Ronald Jones, I think, can still coexist. They're going to hamper each other's upside. Now, let's go to the other side of that argument. Ronald Jones sucks, right? Hashtag say no to Rojo. Jake doesn't like Ronald Jones. I get it. I'm not a huge Ronald Jones truther either. But obviously, I've got to change my stance on it a little bit now because they've added Leonard Fournette. So I'm not going to keep pumping Ronald Jones out to you. This obviously hurts him. So if Ronald Jones does end up going out there and sucking it up, well, you know what? Leonard Fournette is a guy that could have mid running back two to high running back two potential as the season progresses. But because he's not going to be getting that volume all year long, I believe, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. And more than likely, this contract isn't going to be a contract that they're going to be locked into. It's not going to It's not going to end up happening. It's not like some other teams where you put yourself in a situation where you lock in for a good amount on somebody, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, we got to keep feeding them the ball. Oh, we got to keep feeding them the ball. Oh, we got to keep feeding them the ball. But with that being said... They could cut ties with him. If it just doesn't end up working out, if he comes in and they feel like he's messing with the chemistry, if this is still the Leonard Fournette from Jacksonville that was a pain to be around, that was getting himself in trouble on and off the field, that was just really, and I don't want, this might be too strong of a word, but a cancer in the locker room. If he ends up becoming that, they can just move on from him. Like They don't need to keep him around. They're bringing him in at this point because they feel like he can help the football team, but if Leonard Fournette hasn't changed his attitude, they can walk away and who cares? It's not going to hurt them. That's why he passed through waivers. So they don't have to pay him five and a half million dollars for the year. They can pay him lower than that. And that's what's going to end up happening. So for those of you that are excited to go out there and get Leonard Fournette in your drafts this weekend, just remember that upside is going to be limited for right now. So don't go crazy. Don't go try getting him in the second or third round thinking this guy is going to be locked up as a running back one this year. Could it end up happening? Yes, it could. But he's going to have to come in. He's really going to have to take over that backfield early starting in week one. And he's going to have to have Ronald Jones. He's going to have to have Keyshawn Vaughn, LaShawn McCoy, Dare Olawala, Bing Bang. All these guys that are in the backfield with him. 
more than likely someone's going to end up getting cut. I don't know who that is at this point, but they're going to let somebody go. They're going to release somebody, and he's only going to have to deal with three other uh, running backs. But we could see all of them switching in and out. So he's going to have to come in, learn the playbook quickly, get Tom Brady's confidence quickly, get Bruce Arians' confidence quickly, and then really take off from there and perform much better than the other guys that are on the roster getting those touches as well. Could it happen? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, my best case scenario for Leonard Fournette, looking at a high-end to mid running back to season. Not a ton of volume to begin early, but as the season progresses, getting more and more and more until he's a guy that towards the end of the season, you can probably lean on a little bit more and a little bit more. And half PPR and PPR leagues don't expect nearly as much help from him as you got last year. Worst case scenario, him and Ronald Jones end up splitting a lot of touches. Both of these guys become ones that you could potentially play in the flex any given week. Ronald Jones sees a little bit more towards maybe in the passing game and some quick hurry up offense. And uh, Leonard Fournette is the guy that they use on the goal line, short yarded situations and still gets a decent amount of carries. And if he can be efficient with those carries, then he's a guy you roll out there every week. So again, Second, third round, probably going to be off the bandwagon. If you go running back, running back early, and you take him as your running back three, maybe in the fourth or the fifth, I'm okay with that. I just don't know if he's going to fall that far right now. So proceed with caution. Don't get too excited. And just remember, Headliner Nation, okay? Don't don't succumb to the masses, all right? Do your research, dive in deep, and decide whether or not Leonard Fournette is a guy that you truly trust in 2020. There you have it, Headliner Nation, breaking down the breaking news for you and talking about Leonard Fournette headed to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Do me a favor, hit that like button on the video if you appreciate the content. Let me know down below, where are you putting Leonard Fournette? Do you think he can be a running back one? More of a running back two, running back three. Is he undraftable? Are you just going to skip him on draft day? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you are new to the Fantasy Headliners, if this is your first time checking out one of our shows, hit that subscribe button. Become a part of Headliner Nation today and help us on that road to 100,000 subscribers. Headliner Nation, stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch you on the next episode of the Fantasy Headliners.